I think one of the craziest things about this is that my artwork will forever be in the hallways that the Toronto Maple Leafs walk every day. Hi, my name is Cass. I'm a watercolor portrait artist. I grew up in a family that always watched every game. It's just what's in my blood, being a Leafs fan. I first started working on artwork when I was very little. Like, my grandparents my entire life were also into art, so they brought me up in that kind of world. With also being a hockey family, my brother and I would collect hockey cards and I started copying the photos on the hockey cards. And that's how I started doing portraits. I grew up wanting to play hockey. Unfortunately, hockey is a very expensive sport. And I'm also very short, so I was never going to make the NHL. Kind of the dreams I had, I can recreate through drawing these players. Every time you draw a bruise or a scar, it's like, that's what I always wanted. So now it's like, that's how I can feel the emotion that they feel on the ice in my home. If I could tell little Cass drawing the OPG Darcy Tucker card a thousand times in his basement that his art would one day be featured in the arena that the Leafs play at, I don't know if he would even have words. He would be more proud of me than anyone could ever be in my entire life. For my piece for Scotiabank Arena, I chose to paint Wendell Clark, Daryl Sittler, and Borea Salming, all players that unfortunately I was too young to actually watch, but I did grow up hearing millions of stories from my parents and my grandparents about how these players played with like so much heart and soul. Honestly, it's an absolute privilege to get to paint these players that meant so much previously and currently as Toronto Maple Leaf fans. I wanted Scotiabank Arena to have pieces that included the legend behind what these players brought on the ice and also brought to the community in the city of Toronto. I think that the nice thing about art is that it doesn't have to be perfect and even portraits that people think have to be perfect, they don't. Just stepping back and seeing what you've created and loving what you've created and knowing that it's part of you means the most and brings me back to it every time. I want all artists, young and old, to know that art doesn't have to be a specific genre. There's a specific way. Anything that you can use to make art, anything that you feel is art is art and it's beautiful.